Good evening, folks. This is Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project. On Tuesday, October 10th, 9.51 p.m. Mountain Time, 2017. I'm doing a volcanic update for the Grand Solar Minimum. And what we're looking at here, folks, is the Canary Islands. If you don't know where they are, we're going to be talking a lot about them. A lot of people, a lot of comments about the Canary Islands. There have been earthquake swarms under Tenerife in La Palma, and in El Hierro, all three of these. Now, if we come over here, I'll give you a quick geography lesson. Here is the western coast of Africa. Here's western Sahara and Morocco. And if we zoom in here on the Canary Islands, ones that are we're going to be interested in so we're going to go over these one two three four these islands here in that other picture as you go from east to west they're older versus younger volcanic activity these are the two youngest volcanoes being formed just one million year years ago and so and 10 million 12 etc and this is what they look like so this is the volcano of la palma the one that everyone's worried about is going to create a tsunami that's going to kill everyone on the east coast. This is El Hierro volcano. And this is an interesting one here on the main island called Tenerife. We'll talk about the head, those three are in the headlines currently. And we're going to talk about all three of those volcanoes. So let's get back to the three dimensional geology. Um, here's Africa again, just like we saw. And we're looking due east. And here are the two newest volcanoes being the highest. And here's La Palma. Now how these form, these are these form the same way. They're called seamounts. Seamounts. And here's the age in millions of years, if you're interested in that. 20 million years was the first ones formed, which is Fuerte Vantaura. And notice how low it is. And then the second oldest here, Gran, uh, right here, the Gran Canaria. That's at 14.5 million. Look at how low that is. And then see how high these two are? La Palma and Tenerife. Those are the two highest. The reason that the cat, they're worried about a catastrophe is because when these erupt, because they're so steep, what happens is massive landslides occur. They've already occurred here in the hit, in the past, geologic past. But what they're worried about is the next time these erupt, there could be a massive displacement of up to 20 kilometers of material here that will fall into the ocean and send a huge tsunami our way. But we'll get into that. So here's the geology of that, and I'm going to leave you a link to that. Just moments ago, there was an earthquake on Tenerife at a magnitude of 4. And I told you in the last video that anything above 4, and you start to worry about that being a sign of eruptive activity. So here we have 3.9, and there have been earthquake swarms in recent days on Tenerife, La Palma, and down here on El Hierro. So I'm going to leave you links to the Wikipedia on Cumbre Vieja. This is uh, La Palma. This is the catastrophic volcano that they think could detach all of this area, which could slide into the sea and form a 600-meter wave that hits New York and Miami and anyone else that's on the East Coast. I'll leave you links to the Wikipedia for uh, Tenerife and El Hierro. Tenerife is an uh, interesting geology, and this is uh, the, one of the older volcanoes, but that's where the 3.5 just happened, right down here. And here's the caldera. Here's the volcano right here. Right there, that's the, the uh, earthquake I'm talking about. So I'll leave you links to all this. Let's come and look at what it says about La, La Palma Volcano. I'll leave you links to this at uh, Volcano Discovery. You can see here how many earthquakes there have been uh, in recent history here. And then if we come and look at the eruptive history of all of these three volcanoes, they all erupt during high cosmic ray flux and solar minimum especially. So that's not looking very good for us. So it looks like La Palma, El Hierro, and Tenerife will all be erupting moving forward very soon. Now, whether or not that the La Palma eruption causes this 
island to calve into the Atlantic and kill everyone on the East Coast, that's to be seen. I'm going to leave you links to all of that. But what I want to show you here is very interesting. This is El Hierro. And I'll show you a map of that. So we'll just go back here. So we're going to be talking about this island, El Hierro, down here. Now, th these red dots are earthquakes. Wait until you see this map. Right here. This is the earthquake swarm that happened in the last few days. And then, and that is crazy, a crazy abundant amount of earthquakes. There is the uh, volcano in question. So the magma is moving underneath of there, and that's for certain. Let's look at the headlines. What we have is earthquake swarm detected under Cumbre Vieja. We talked about that. We talked about the island of La Palma. There's been more than 40 tremors in 48 hours. And we talked about El Hierro. So I'll leave you all three of these headlines so you can read up on the articles. Now let's talk about the catastrophic volcanic eruption in La Palma and what that would do. So I'll leave you the doomsday scenario of a La Palma eruption. And these are the headlines coming out there. Canary Island panic as earthquake hits La Palma. And the reason why, there's links to uh, tsunami fears. Mega tsunami. So the idea here is, and I'm going to give you a close-up on this. It's going to be pretty rad. Take a look. Here is La Palma, and here is La Palma Volcano. And this is going to be a simulation of what would happen during the next eruption to cause a catastrophic tsunami in the U.S. Keep an eye on it. And there it goes. And that would be the end of the East Coast. So one more time, we'll run through it. I'll leave you links to this video. Here is the simulation of La Palma and a catastrophic eruption and what will happen. Boom. Okay? So I'll leave you links to that. And that's the picture we saw. So it appears that the Canary Islands are waking up as predicted. Now these are basaltic flows. This is a seamount, but unlike the bubble magma and the muons in the more andesite silica rich volcanoes in the Cascadia area, these are a different type of volcanoes, but they seem to have a similar periodicity to the andesite volcanoes. In that, if you come over and look at their eruptive histories, 1793, El Hierro, that was during the Maunder Minimum, and you come over and look at some of the other eruptive histories, you're going to find out that these volcanoes, 1600 AD, during the Maunder Minimum, erupt during minimums. And they're coming alive now, so... It's in our best interest to think, look at this, Maunder Minimum, several eruptions, 1585 was a minimum, 1712 was a minimum, 1949 was in the Glassberg Minimum, 1971 was in the a minimum during the 70s when the snow was high. So all these are lining up with uh, erupting during solar minimums, especially grand solar minimums. So it's a heads up on that. If you have any questions, leave them down below. We just had a 3.5 here on Tenerife. Keep an eye out on these three islands to erupt in the near future. Hopefully La Palma will not be catastrophic and that tsunami, but you will have links to the videos on the doomsday scenario. Guys, I hope you got something out of the video. Thanks for watching. Be safe.